what a big topic that bullying is. What is that hair do? That's more egregious than the bullying. Hey guys, John here, aka Bruce Lee. I'm a kickboxing teacher from Canada, and today I'm reacting to season three of Cobra Kai, uh, laser tag and prison fight scene. We're gonna give it a score out of ten based on two criteria: uh, on a one scale of one to ten on how realistic we think it is, and a scale of one to ten on how straight up entertaining the scene is. So that's what the primary objective of the show is for. Let's get into it right now. Sneak attack! Front kick, roundhouse with the leg. Uh, that was a good sweep. All right, that's really a good place to stop and uh, pull it back uh, just a little bit. Seen some good things there. Start off with this guy. They pick the fight with him, so he comes in. There's no reason to jump for that roundhouse, but you know what? You're sneaking up on him anyway. I think he actually would have had more power just keeping his supporting foot grounded as leverage because when you uh, when you do a kick like that, so you see here he actually jumps up and you can still turn your hips just uh, really well with it, but I find when you, if you just keep the foot down, it acts as a better fulcrum for the lever so you can actually get more force in and if he did that, uh, I, don't, I don't condone hitting someone in the back of the head, but uh, if he did a proper roundhouse, this fight would already be over. Yes, one shot in, elbow and a front kick, swipes out the guy's legs, all that pretty realistic. This chick right there, um, so when she does this kick to the, I think the first guy, uh, right here, she's in the kick and you'll notice her toes are actually pointing up as her heel goes across a person's face. Uh, that tells me that uh, fundamentally uh, or like, technique wise, uh, the skill is not quite there yet as really what you want is that, uh, that shin to be completely sideways. So the proper roundhouse technique, you see here the knee and the toes are actually pointing up. You actually want it pointing uh, more horizontal and uh, the kick to go through like this, like you're uh, hitting like a baseball bat or like a tennis racket, swinging it across. Uh, this whole thing where she's bringing her leg around but the knee and toes are pointing up, that means she's using her flexibility to get her leg up for the sake of the stunt. This one not actually do any real damage. Back fist. That dodge and grab was a little sus. She leans back. So usually when you lean back, you don't want to like break your back like a matrix dodge like this. Usually you want to step your right foot back and kind of lean back a little bit more gently. Just enough to get out of whatever it is, a punch or a kick, and not anything more than that. And then she front kicks away, so decent realism, but again, you can tell that they, uh, they clearly chose actors here with athletic uh, and who could do the stunts and not so much like martial artists uh, from what I can see. That sweep though was really, really good. She gets leverage and kind of scissors the guy over. Very good throw. The guy knees him, goes in for a front kick. It's like a good turning kick. Uh, for the sake of the stunt, uh, the, the, the guy who executed the kick, he kind of hit him with his calf, which doesn't really hurt. Uh, but I think it's, again, because like, they're, they're filming a scene here, right? But if he did it properly with his heel, his form there was really, really good on that kind of like that spinning, turning kick off of the table. Let's see it again. So first kick he caught, and then when he spins there, if you really want to hurt the guy, he absolutely could have. Roundhouse, spinning elbow, and across. So far pretty realistic. I've never tried running up the wall there, but I feel like that would absolutely work if the guy was holding you tight enough. Why not? Now, okay. Goes in for a takedown. Woo! Kind of capoeira kick style. So when I say capoeira kick, is that um, the way he's rotating off of the floor here to land a kick. Uh, very cool and pretty realistic uh, if you do things like capoeira. Let's back up again one more time. Where he runs up the wall here, I don't think he's getting any major benefit because he ends up kicking the guy in the chest. If he ran up the wall to kick the guy in the face and he normally couldn't reach the face, uh, that would make more sense. But the fact he's running up the wall just to hit him in the chest, I mean, he could have just stayed planted and still drove it into the body uh, even quicker and with more power by just staying planted. But uh, that wouldn't be as cool of a movie. Ooh, is that a big guy? <laughs> This is what this is what martial arts isn't supposed to be like. Look at these guys' faces. Look at these guys' faces. Yeah, he got hit, but they're having fun, man. Like that's what martial arts is really like. 
those were horrendous. Uh, those were horrendous blocks. So uh, the guy throws a front kick and then a punch. So you see there where the kick comes in and the guy kind of goes like this. You can brush front kicks like that uh, when it comes straight at you and you want to brush it past your body like this. However, uh, what he did there, he just kind of gave it a slap. Again, like it makes the, the stunt seem not really immersive. And when the guy throws a punch, let's back it up again. So he somehow slaps an entire leg away with just his palm. Doesn't make sense. And then when he parries the punch, which is a real thing, to parry the punch across your body, uh, if you turn it to the left here, you want to continue going the other way. He parried it, and it kind of went into the punch afterwards. I think it's kind of inefficient, a little unpractical, but uh, it still worked for him, so why not? Alright. You usually don't want to give up your back like that. Uh, sometimes it happens, all you can do is kind of like squirm your elbows out. That's decently realistic, but you want to turn and face your opponent as quick as possible. That guy looks pissed! Uh, let's back that up. How did this even happen? I've never seen that whole, like, uh, when the guy charges in, you grab him by the shoulder and you can, like, completely flagpole yourself. I don't think that really makes sense, but, uh, again, cool cut. Growling. This guy looks shook now. He looks a little scared. Oh, he's taking a roundhouse. What the? What's with this guy? What is that hair do? That's more egregious than the bullying. Jesus. Uh, I see another case there where if you look at her uh, her foot here, so he, she kind of knees him and then she kicks uh, with the toes and the knee pointing up, uh, but she's kind of doing like a roundhouse like. If you're doing a roundhouse, again, you want the, the kick to come across your opponent and then you want your shin, knee, uh, toes all facing horizontal so that you can drive that shin or sometimes the foot across. The fact that her toes and knee are pointing up, which means again, she's doing it for the stunt and uh, that kick had no actual force behind it. That's a scary position to be in being held by the neck at all, but then there's another person kicking you. So that, that sweep was uh, decently realistic, but he did it way too slow to execute in real life. So let's look at it again. This is going to be the, the giant mohawk guy. So the grab across and then trip him. I think like if someone catches your hand like this, you're not stuck there for like three seconds waiting to get taken down. If you want to execute that move, you want as the punch comes in, you want to grab and initiate your, your uh, sweep as quickly as possible. So you, again, you can tell the guy is kind of like, Grab the head and then kind of like wait there patiently while, until he takes you down. And same thing with the way that he's grabbing his arm there. So you see how kind of slow this is. And then like the way he's grabbing that arm, no one's going to be like, oh, oh, crap, oh no. They're going to pull their arm in, right? They're not going to just let you control their arm uh, like without without any opposition. So if you want to be able to, to, to really press someone's arm behind them, you better have really good wrist control. And I didn't see that from this guy at all. You see here, he kind of lets go of the arm. Is like, okay, let's sit up and see in a little bit. <laughs> Not realistic. I like that grin. Oh, so he's afraid that Eli there is going to. What if you if you see why he's like, stop, stop, please? As uh, his shoulder might get popped here or dislocated, and it's reversible. You can always pop the shoulder back in, but you never know what damage you can uh, you can get uh, in the ligaments, and also it hurts like. Hell, to pop it out and pop up, popping it back in. So uh, I can see why he does not want that to happen. And though the fight's over, ah, uh, peer pressure. Oh, you don't have to do it, man. Oh, oh man, that did not sound good.
Alright guys, so that was Cobra Kai Season 3, two different fight scenes, one in a laser tag place and a prison fight scene. Uh, overall, I didn't think it was uh, too, too realistic. There's a few things that made it like very obviously stunts, and, uh, but they did a good job with the filming, right? Like, they had it a little bit shaky and quick cuts, you couldn't quite notice it unless you were really looking for it, like I was. I think they did a good job of immersing you, but for me, there's a couple of uh, clear things, especially with the way those roundhouse kicks were being thrown, and kind of the way the blocks were happening. That is kind of very obviously shot uh, to have like pauses in between so that you could like put you know pull on their arm like this or trip them like that you know they're kind of like waiting for stuff to happen which I don't think is realistic to a fight uh, what I didn't realize in this show uh, was what a big topic that bullying is so um, let's talk about that super quick um, in that case where you pop the guy's shoulder at the end uh, everyone was kind of like cheering them on Especially the girl who I think is one of the bad guys of the show was kind of like egging him on to, to pop out the guy's shoulder. There's no real reason to do that. And you know what? For anyone, uh, any parents out there, or if you're, uh, you know, if kids in high school, you've been in high school yourself, you know how savage uh, and how brutal kids can be, which is, I know is terrible. And I think our society is definitely going the right direction and going anti bullying and kind of spreading awareness on that topic. But you know what? If you enroll your kids in martial arts, they're not doing this stuff. Okay, like this right here where there's like nine of them picking fights at like laser tag places, prison fight, uh, well the prison I guess, that might happen, but I also saw in, in, in this, uh, the last season there was like a fight at a mall, like when, you when you're learning martial arts, one of the biggest things you learn, especially if you, t you continue on for a while, is humility. Okay, as a kid, as an adult, it doesn't matter. You learn humility because martial arts isn't just how to throw punches and kicks, it's how to be a person. And it's a true life discipline. So if you enroll your kids or you see shows like this and you're worried that your kids and become some kind of hooligan, picking fights at the mall, uh, fighting at like laser tag places, like, you know, if you have to walk around your whole life, like, uh, like worried that you might pick a fight at the grocery store, like this, that's no way to live. No one you can walk around and defend yourself is one thing, but like this whole thing, I think that doesn't really happen. And uh, I think the fact that they make it seem like this happens a lot is not a bad thing either, though, because I think bullying absolutely does happen a lot, even when it doesn't come in this form. So, uh, ending off thoughts on that little rant is that um, bullying absolutely happens. If you want to enroll your kids in martial arts, that's the best way to make sure that this doesn't happen. All right? On a scale of 1 to 10, let's give it a score for realism. For me, I kind of I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. It's like half of it was really good stuff. The other half, I think, was just like, like, you know, they're at season three at this point. Like, I think you should figure out your choreography by now. Maybe if it was like season one, episode one, is a little shaky on the scene. It'd be like, oh, okay, well, maybe the kids are still learning. But if you're doing this for three years now, like, I think that your fundamentals and your martial arts should be a little bit uh, more progressed. Uh, if you're playing, you know, as an actor, playing the scene, uh, these scenes uh, as a martial artist. In terms of entertainment factor, I did think that they did a really good job of like um, making it feel intense and like there's so much happening and so many kids and the quick snapshots. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. So that's a total score of uh, six and a half out of 10 for realism and entertainment factor, which I think is fair. Like for me, it's really hard to get fully, fully immersed into the scene if I can tell that's very obviously like uh, choreographed. You know, obviously any scene in the movie is choreographed, but uh, like I, I want, I want to believe it. You know, that's just me personally. Uh, tell me below what you guys thought, if you thought it was realistic, uh, or if you were immersed, or how entertaining you thought it was, and please comment below any other scenes you would like me to do, and if you see bullying, um, or know someone affected by bullying, there's a number to call, there's people to talk to, so make sure you go get the help, and I'll see you next time.